Hi everyone, we're doing a tutorial for Speed Quizzing Live, the latest version of Speed Quizzing Live, which is version 3, which has some good new features. So Speed Quizzing Live is something you use remotely over Zoom, not to be confused with Speed Quizzing Pro. So go to speedquizzing.com. If you haven't already created a user account, you'll click sign up there. Assuming you have already created a Speed Quizzing account, you're going to click on sign in. Okay, you've got two different versions. You've got Speed Quizzing Pro. As I said, we're not using that. That's face-to-face -face Speed Quizzing for pub quizzes and things. This is Speed Quizzing Live we're doing. So all these devices you can see over on the right-hand side, we've mocked up. That would be 12 different players' houses. You'd be playing from different or different venues. As you can see, Speed Quizzing Live, click play. You won't have a long list of previous quizzes like I've got. You'll just have a start button. You'll click start quiz. There's three different panes here you can see. Uh, this is the main pane uh, where you read your questions out from and things. These are designed to be able to move around depending on your screen layout and what's best for you. This is what we call the live screen down here. This is optional. I'm not going to focus on that too much. I'll do another tutorial about that later, but I will leave it there just so you can see it working. This pane here is where you, your players connect. So the more players you've got, the more space you need to have that taken up. So what you'll see is, so you explain to your players, um, they've downloaded the app, as you can see there, Speed Quizzing Live, which is a free app. So put your, uh, your player name, it can be a team name or an individual name, in the name field and put the PIN, which you can see there, so you announce that, 7777. Okay, Emily's joined. Let's have some more join. You can see Emily's joined on that side. Pressing connect, we should see some more start to connect down here. A new feature on this latest version 3 is you can colour a team by clicking on it and setting a colour different reasons why you might want to do that it just helps you know who's where okay so we've got your teams all connected you can see it's rotating through the different types of questions on their devices now they've connected you need some questions to play you'll either use the demo quiz provided or you will use some questions you've written yourself in the question manager or you will you'll have purchased a quiz pack one of them things okay here's one i made earlier start the quiz I explain it's a multiple choice question and that they've got to press um, A, B, C, D, E, R, F whilst listening to me read out options. So, in science, which of these is the control center of a cell? Is it A, cell membrane, B, nucleus, C, cytoplasm, D, mitochondria? You can see their answers are coming in and I start the 10 second yeah. countdown. Six correct answers. The answer is, and I'm going to press the blue button at the same time as saying the answer, B, Nucleus. <laughs> Everyone who got it right got six points. The fastest correct answer got two bonus points. And these settings are down here, you see. Six points for a correct answer, two bonus points for the fastest correct answer. Now, you would announce that at the beginning of the quiz, that it's going to be six points for a correct answer, two bonus points for the fastest correct answer. And at this point, I'm now going to say the fastest correct answer is, and I press the blue button, comfortably done. Next question. Right, it's a letters question this time. So on their screens, they're having to explain to them what they need to do. But they just put the first letter of the answer. If it's a person's name, it's first letter, first name. I often use Sir Paul McCartney as an example, and where you'd press P, not S for Sir, not M for McCartney. And the other thing you need to tell them, don't press T for the, if it's a, a question that begins with the, I usually give the Lion King as an example, you would press L, not T. Right, in which Shakespeare play does a prince of Denmark see his father's ghost? Now you see the answers coming in. Ten. There you go. Six correct answers, and I'm going to press the blue button exactly the same time. I will point out at this point, the blue button, you can click it with your mouse, but it also works with space bar or pressing number five. You can see all the shortcuts in there by clicking on the I. Okay, six correct answers. The correct answer is I'll use the space bar. The correct answer is Hamlet. <laughs> Fastest correct answer, B and necessities. Well done. I'm going to do a number question now. On a number question, um, it's always worth reminding them that you've got to press enter after you've typed the number in. Don't forget to press enter. How many letters are there in the word detonations? Ten, and I'm going to hit the space bar. Ten seconds starts now. How many letters are there in the word detonations? Three correct answers. The answer is... 
11 is the correct answer. For the fastest correct answer, the bonus point goes to... Comfortably done. This is a new type of question. It's called a sequence question. On a sequence question, they're going to put the, uh, the answers in order, okay? So this is a very simple one. Arrange these letters to spell out a European capital city. I hit the space bar to show them on the screen at this point, and they start putting the answer in. Arrange these letters to spell out a European capital city, and your 10 seconds starts now. Ten. Three correct answers. The answer is L-I-S-B-O-N, Lisbon. <laughs> Fastest correct answer for the bonus points. Risky Quizness, well done Risky Quizness. Okay, um, what I will show you, a new feature here, what some of you, um, you might like if you've played before, is on previous versions you had to um, show the scoreboard on the live screen or read the scores out or wait till the end of a round. But now you can, if I click on this, on the scoreboard, now this one here shows the scoreboard on the player's devices and you can play that you can do that anytime during a round now that's a new thing okay i can close that down this is a picture question it's the first picture question we've done so you announce to the people playing this is a new feature by the way in version three you used to have to use the live screen before for a picture question but you don't now because it will appear on the devices so you explain to people a picture will appear on the device screen when you're ready to answer it touch the picture and it will go back to the keypad for you to put the answer in okay i'm going to press the blue button then i'll start reading the question this is a tribute band called unforgettable fire which band are they a tribute to Okay, and what you'll see they put the answer, they tap the screen and then they put the answer in. And the 10 seconds starts now. Ten. Six correct answers. The answer we're looking for is U2. <laughs> Fastest correct answer for the bonus point. Press the blue button again. Risky quizness. So what I want to show you now is um, the, the, how to change the scores to a sliding scale. We were just playing for the one team got bonus points. So now we're going to leave that as six points for the fastest correct answer. I'm going to move it up to three and I'm going to enable sliding scale, which means rather than just one team getting bonus points for being fastest, it's on a sliding scale. The fastest three teams will get bonus points three, two, one on a sliding scale. So you announce that this is happening and you do the question. What word is used to describe a TV episode that is made in order to gauge viewer reactions before a series is commissioned? And you've got 10 seconds starting now. Ten. What word is used to describe a TV episode that is made in order to gauge viewer reactions before a series is commissioned? Now, seven correct answers, as you'll see. The fastest three have got bonus points now, and they're flickering, so draw our attention to them as well, uh, which is a newish feature. Seven points uh, for the third fastest, eight points for the second fastest, nine for the fastest, So, but you just carry on as normal. Seven points for a correct answer. The correct answer is pilot. <laughs> and the fastest correct answer for <laughs> Risky Quizness. Um, it's optional whether you say uh, the second fastest got eight points. That was Dave, Sam and Jack. Third fastest, it was comfortably numb. They got seven. You can say that if you want. That's up to you. Now, one more feature is evil mode. I'll explain what that means. That means if you, ch you explain this, so you enable it, you say, right, I've enabled evil mode. And you explain that if they answer a uh, question incorrectly, they will lose six points off the score they've already got. So it's the same as before. Six points if you get it right. Three, two, one, because I've got that enabled on there on a sliding scale. But the, the new feature is evil mode. And if you choose to answer and get it wrong, you will lose six points off the score you've already got. Okay, which of these is highest in vitamin A? Is it A, tomatoes? Okay, so we can see there are four correct answers. There's our four correct answers. They got seven, eight, nine for being the fastest. But you will also see these didn't answer, them ones there. So they don't get any points or lose any points. These ones answered incorrectly, so lost six points because we've got evil mode on. Four correct answers. The correct answer is C, carrots, and I press the blue button. <laughs> fastest correct answer for the bonus points. Press the blue button again. Comfortably done. Pressing Shift and D on my computer keypad. I can show them all the scores, see where they all are. 
thanks for watching everyone um, in the next tutorial will explain how to use the live screen how you share it and all the extra little features that come with it there's a lot of other things to show as well there's gonna be quite a few tutorials in this thanks for watching see you all later